So as you guys probably seen from my playlist on different bikes, the different ones of how to's, What's going on guys? So in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I've received a lot of requests from many subscribers about just what upgrades have I done on the Rogue Glide ST. Can I do a walk around? Can I kind of show kind of a summary of everything that I did? So I figured I'd take a few minutes and, and do one and kind of show you guys everything that's been done on it. There's been a lot and um, I figure I'd just kind of step around and show you the different parts and I made a list of everything to step down through it. Uh, there's also a playlist on my channel for each of the bikes of the how to's and the upgrades. So I'll put the link in the bottom of the description for that. And uh, I'll do a screen cap of just a list of everything and show it as a picture so you guys can just kind of pause it and take a look at everything. And then you can go look at the playlist and take a look to get all the part numbers and instructions of how to do it and how I put it on and stuff like that. So. Figure we take a few minutes and just kind of do a basic walk around and then explain what it was and how it looks on the bike. And that way you guys can see just kind of how this bike has transformed since I initially got it six, seven months ago. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been real interesting. And there's a few more things that I want to do, but uh, I think right now it's a good point to, to show that. And let me get the camera changed around and I'll do kind of a mobile setup on it so I can walk around the bike and show you what's going on. All right, back in a minute. All right, so now we're switched around to more of a mobile cam and so I can kind of walk around and show you what's going on, but here's a full view of the bike as it sits right now. And on delivery day when I first got it for homecoming, I had the dealership put on factory 47 signature series 14 inch bars and these performance machine uh, grips which I still really love. As you can see, I have them on there still, even though I did a change. I eventually changed those out to the thrashing setup, and we'll show you that in a minute. And then I also put on the Lucky Dave's Get Lucky Bagger seat, and it's kind of like a step up, but a little bit wider with uh, some more foam and things like that for a passenger should you have one, so really happy with that. Uh, I like the way it rides, I like the way it sits. Just pretty good there. And then the next thing I did was I put on the Robert Becker Designs seat lock and bag locks. And the bag locks are pretty cool. They go right in here. And I put two on each side just cause I have a thing about being matched and I just want them to be matched. And since I got this open, I'll show you also, I did the Hogworks um, gray stitched bag liners. Love these things. Lots of little pockets and everything going on for that. Did the shoreline um, bag covers on the top with a nice design on those. Uh, really helps out with stopping the scuffs from the top of your boots and things like that or just wear and tear. I also did the Hogworks black um, bag levers, converted those over, put those on, look a lot better than the chrome ones sticking out in there, I think. And then of course, to follow in line with, you know, the LED stuff, because I removed the turn signals, I did have LED turn signals that I put in the Mr. Magoo lights, but I took those off when I did the um, turn signal cancellation, but I did do the Ciro fangs on the front, which are very nice. They light up really nicely and they're nice and bright, give you like a run light plus the additional turn signals with the amber. I really like the amber. And then I also did the lighted uh, latch covers. Those are pretty cool. They turn on nicely and, and lighten up and I'll, I'll show you the lights as I go around once we get it all done. I removed the reflectors from the forks and the back of the bags and put on these panel filler lights and bag blades from Ciro. And then I did the uh, turn signal elimination and got rid of those Mr. Magoo looking lights that were back there. I just didn't like the way it looked because it blocked my panel filler lights. 
So I wasn't happy about that. I put on some Reinhardt slip-ons, the 4.0s. Sound really good, video I did of that kind of tells you how it sounds and things like that. I did the Hogworks Stealth B2 uh, luggage rack to go in line with my Suicide Choppers Excalibur backrest. This is the 16 inch. I didn't want the real tall one and I didn't want the big Suicide Choppers luggage rack on the back either. As much as I liked it and had some cool designs, I just wanted a more subdued uh, streamlined look for it. So that's what I picked for there. Uh, on the foot controls, we did the we did the thrashing mini boards on the back for the rider boards and had to buy the Harley footboard mounts because the ST doesn't come with one. And then on the front boards, we did the thrashing adjustable boards, the adjustable brake lever, the P54 uh, brake pedal, adjusted that full forward and down to the lowest setting for that. So really comfortable, feels a lot better when you're riding it. I changed out the 117 scoop, gained about four inches in leg room on that with my Vance & Hines V02 Limited America uh, cover. And yes, I've done this on all my bikes. I really like the way it looks. And being a veteran, I appreciate that. I would like to show my pride in my country and my service and all those who served with me. So I have that going on there. And then we did the Harley, Harley Davidson color matched spoiler. Comes in a three piece kit, left, right and bottom center and ties right up underneath your fairing. Looks really cool, finished the bike out, I think. And then I added the Hogwarts stretched color match side covers. Now a lot of people say, oh, those are for stretch bags and you got that little lip at the bottom. I don't care. I like the way it looks. It gives a nice feel with the spoiler and the way it goes. And I'm not gonna put um, bag bars on the back because I'm just not. I don't like the way that looks. You know, everybody's got their own preference and all that stuff, so. And on the front, we did the serial fork lighted fork covers. Uh, I initially had the Dominion axle covers and they were cool. But when I saw these lighted fork covers, I'm like, oh, I gotta have those. And so they work really good, give some nice lighting in the front. I had put on the Ciro tie down brackets and they were right here in the front coming in. But as mentioned in the video for the spoiler, when that's on with the spoiler and you turn your, your bars, it snaps and catches that spoiler and we can't have that. So we changed that out and just took them back off. And then I did the Hogworks Visions headlight and custom dynamics inserts with the screens for the turn signals right there. And of course I had to have the Hogworks Frau Brow as I call it, the little Angry Birds little thing on the front. Pretty cool, I like the way that looks. I installed the Horizon uh, lights here in the front for turn signals on that and they look really good when they light up on that. And then initially I had the Clockworks 14 inch sport uh, windscreen on there and I got a lot of creaking and rattling and vibration from it and I reseated it a bunch of times and finally ended up going with Freedom Shield's 14 inch Touring, not the Sport. And I just like the way it looks, gives me great airflow. You know, nice cross there, of course, video for all that. And then I did a color matched inner fairing. Uh, this is from Hogworks and a color matched duck cover. So it's all gunship gray in there and looks a lot better to me uh, than that vivid black that just shows all kinds of streaks and prints and everything else that drives me crazy. And during the same time I did that, I added in the Thrashen Triple Tree, Thrashen nine and a half inch risers with a two inch pullback, the gauge relocation kit, which moved my gauges uh, from that bottom piece up here to that. It's fully adjustable 
with a couple little different brackets that goes on there that's really nice. I kept my original grips and put the Thrashen high bend bars on there. So great riding position, feels really good. As I said, I kept the performance machine grips. I put on the Harley custom mirrors with these little fisheye mirrors that I got from Cycle Gear. Works pretty good. I can see clear over into the next lane and just gives me great visibility, especially with the narrow, more narrow bars. And then of course my TAC form phone mount, video on that as well. Uh, really love their products. Best ones I've owned. Clamps on your phone, very nice spring tension and all that kind of stuff. So it works good. And then I also have the TAC form multi perch mount accessory on there in the front that allows me to mount one of my cameras there, maybe a cup holder on the bottom, another camera. Gives you a lot of flexibility for different options that you want to have. I also installed the Harley Davidson locking gas cap. I'll probably go and switch over to a flush mount, but I really like that one. Lots of people said they have problems with it. I didn't have any problems with it at all. Uh, enjoy the way it looks, enjoy the way it feels, and uh, opens and closes and locks just fine. Then over on this side, of course, we have the same foot controls, right, and mounts and the arms, and then we did the thrash and easy shift, shift lever. And let me tell you what, that works very well. Uh, I find neutral just about every single time. Uh, when you get it in there and get it dialed in, I have the thrash and shift lever, thrash and shift peg, and an edge cut Harley Davidson uh, linkage right there uh, to get rid of the stock one that's just real flimsy and pain in the butt and I'm not a big fan of that one at all. So change those out and got that rolling. And let's see, down here on the, on the frame, I did the Invisivin magnetic uh, VIN cover. Uh, pretty cool little thing, blacks out that real nice. Uh, works very well, comes in for very different, uh, various different models. Uh, soft tails have two of them so you can catch both sides. And then I also have my lid locks, handlebar lock. I enjoy that, it works very well, easy. You just set your, hand, your uh, helmet over the mirror slide that in there, locks it, good and secure, and just keeps it up there right. And you don't have to worry about if uh, you go in a restaurant or park somewhere in a public area to where someone's gonna come steal your helmet. So very important for me. All right, aside from that, that you can't really see underneath the fairing is I installed the WIM, which is a wireless headset interface module. It's required to be able to use the Cena 50C uh, Harley headset to use it wirelessly. You can use the little plug thing to be able to get Apple CarPlay to play on the stereo out, uh, which is fine, but I wanted to be able to have the full integration with the headset. So I did an install video of how to put that in there and, and how to set it up and just the quick settings and all that for how it works. And very pleased with it. it has a little issues every now and again syncing up where you just got to kind of disconnect and reconnect. But all in all, it works very well. All right, so now that we've done the full walk around, I'll show you what all the lights look like. So we'll turn on the lights. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna hit the hazards. So you can see fork lights, fang lights with the ambers. Got the horizon lights, all sequential. Looks nice. Light of bag covers or hinge covers. Go back here with the bag lights, license plate lights and all that, sequential on those. And then we'll turn off the hazards so you can just see the running lights. So there's your running lights. Got 
The Fang lights, four canies sit there like that. Get those running lights on that. Fangs light up, give you a halo, which is nice. And those all light there. So pretty happy with all of it. Looks pretty nice, lots of visibility and uh, good to go. So there you have it for the lighting. And I think that's about it. So that's the full walk around of all the upgrades that I did. Like I said, uh, if you go to the channel and you take a look at the playlists, I'll put the link in the description for that as well for the Rogue Glide, the 2022 Rogue Glide ST. And you can go watch all the different videos to see how I did the installs, part numbers, links, and things like that. But man, what a fun project. And I really love this bike. It's just amazing to ride. Uh, next thing's probably gonna be some suspension because I still have the stock shocks on the front and back. Just haven't got around to that yet. But uh, great machine, love the way it rides, love the way it handles. And with this thrash and setup, many people are you know back and forth where they like the meat hooks and all that. And it's really all about preference. But for me, the bike actually feels a little bit smaller, not so bulky and a lot more agile. And the riding position is so much better for my setup. And again, that's gonna be based on individual preference and things like that. But I try to cover as much of that in the video as I can to kind of share. But all in all, there she is. She's named it the Gray Sif. Sif is the great wise wolf and uh, just love the bike. So hopefully this was helpful. It uh, kind of sums up all the work that I've done from the date that I got it and uh, to the current point. So hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe, give any feedback or comments, have any questions. I'll be glad to answer them. As you guys know, I'm real responsive. And like I always say, if you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, put some comments in there. If you don't like the video, tell me why. Is it because I suck at it? Is it because poor quality? Is it because you don't like the parts? Just giving a thumbs down and not saying why doesn't make it any better for me to do better videos in case I miss something. So I appreciate that feedback and those comments. I do pay attention to them. I do respond to every single one and uh, it matters to me what you guys think. So check it out, let me know, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, take care.